Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at the Ableus CLI. And the easiest way to get started with this is actually via the Cloud Shell. So you'll notice this little icon here in the top right corner. That is Cloud Shell, and it's going to allow us to um, uh, programmatically do things without having to set up our own environments. So if I just click that there, okay, uh, and I say do not show again, close. And by the way, if you don't see Cloud Shell here, it could be your region. So like if I go to Canada Central, it doesn't have it there. And so if I was to search Cloud Shell here, okay, it's going to say it's only supported in those regions. So that's a bit annoying. But once Cloud Shell loads, it already has our uh, credentials loaded within our account. And so this is going to save us a lot of time in terms of, uh, you know, trying to get set up with the exception that you have to wait for this environment to create. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's not that bad. Um, and while that is waiting, what I'll do is show you actually how you'd install the CLI yourself. So if we typed in AWS CLI install, all right, and uh, we went here, the way you would install, I believe it's a Python library, but if we went to version two and we just said Linux, uh, you go down here, they'll have instructions. So you just curl it, unzip it and do that. Um, so, you know, if it's, if it's this, and then once it's installed, you'll have the AWS CLI commands. This is still going. so. You know, maybe I can show you what it would be like to install the CLI by hand. So if we wanted to do that, one easy way to do this is if we just go to GitHub, it doesn't matter what repository, I'm just looking for anything here. And if I open up Git pod, so if we go on the top here and type in git pod, uh, dot com, maybe that, I just want to see, whoops, maybe it's git pods, like that. Oh, Gitpod, you're not giving me, oh, you know what, it's .io, that's why. Okay, so if we go back here, sorry, and we type in .io, what this will do is launch me a temporary environment. And so this is outside of AWS, so I'd actually have to install the CLI. So this would be a great opportunity to show you how to install the CLI. I'm just doing it this way because Gitpod is free to use, and um, you know it's going to set up an environment and how let us simulate installing the CLI. So. Here is the CLI here. I'm gonna see if I can bump up the font. Um, let's make the font as large as we can go. Light or dark, dark sounds good to me. And so if we type in AWS, I give it a moment, we can see that we have uh, the command here. So if I say AWS S3 LS, whoops, it should be able to list things out in a bucket. So this is what's currently in the bucket. If you're wondering how do I know what these commands are, I can just type in AWS CLI commands. Okay, and if we go here um, and we go to the CLI ref reference, then we have um, anything we want here, right? So we go down here and I just wanna see what's running in S3. And I go here and I scroll on down. It's gonna show me commands like copy, move, remove, sync, uh, MB, RB uh, list, right? And if you're looking for a particular command, you go down and say, okay, I'll look at LS here. And it will explain to me all the little options that we can do with it. And then it will always give me examples, right? So I can see examples like that. So if I wanted to move something into an S3 bucket, so let's say I want to create a new S3 bucket. Um, we'll type in AWS S3 and just hit enter. And it should tell us um, the subcommands. Maybe if I do like help like this. And if we scroll on down, so I guess it just pulls up documentation. I was hoping he would give us like a tiny summary. Okay, so what we can do here, because I want to create a bucket. Type in like buckets. If you don't know something, you just go AWS S3 CLI create bucket. We'll go here. Um, and then what I do is I always just go to examples here. And so here we have AWS S3 API create bucket. And I know it's unusual, there's an S3 and there's an S3 API. I don't know why that is, but it's always been that way and I, I just don't question it anymore. And so here I can go ahead and create a new bucket. So I'll just go ahead and paste that command in. I do want to change it up a bit here because this name could be, that has to be unique. So just to make sure I get what I want, I'm putting random numbers in here. We're gonna choose the region as US East one. If I wanted to do other things here, I could scroll up and look at some flags here. So uh, it looks all fine to me. So I think I'll go back here and just hit uh, paste. Okay, and so it created that bucket for me. If I go over to S3. And we'll wait here a moment. 
we can see that bucket now exists. If I wanted to place something in that bucket, what I can do is just like touch a file. So I'll just say um, touch. Touch is a Linux command to make just an empty file. So we'll say um, hello.txt. And then it would be AWS S3. Um, it would be SP to copy it. And I'm going to give it the local path, hello.txt. And then I need to give it the bucket address. So it'd be S3 colon forward slash forward slash the bucket name. So we named it this. I'm not even going to try to type that in by hand because it's too hard. And then I want to say where I want to put this file. So I'm going to say hello.txt. And if I'm right, that should work as expected. And so it says I uploaded that file. I make my way back over to S3. I refresh. There is the file. If I want to copy this file back locally, um, all I have to do, I'm just going to remove, I'm going to delete the original hello txt file ls to show you that there's nothing there. And what I need to do, oops, is just revert this. So instead of saying the address here, we can go and type in hello.txt. And if I do ls, there's the file. If you don't know what the address is of the bucket, um, a lot of times you can go here and find it. So it should be because they're always changing this UI on me, but we'll go to properties here and there, well, that's the ARN. Uh, usually a good way to find it is if you go into an actual object. So if you go here, it'll give you the full URL. So I could have grabbed that and I could have just pasted that in there. Um, but you know, you learn after time, it's not hard to remember this S3 colon forward slash forward slash the unique name. I do want to show you how to install it by hand. So here I'm in Git pods. Um, I'm not sure how I can change this to a dark theme. I really don't like this on my eyes. We'll go down below here to color theme. And we'll say git pod dark. There we go. And so this is a temporary workspace. So when I close it, it'll be gone. So I'll be totally fine. And so I'm going to type in AWS to see that it's not installed. We're going to go over here. This runs Linux by default. So I already know that I'm going to use Linux. We want to use version two here. Um, so for the latest version, use this command. For a specific version, no, we just want the generic one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Whoops, yes, allow, we'll paste that in. We'll hit enter. Okay, then we'll take the next command. Paste that in, hit enter. We'll go take the next command here. We'll hit enter. You can now run uh, AWS. So we type AWS and there is a command. So uh, the only thing is that if we do AWS S3 LS, it's not going to work because we don't have any credentials set. So we'll give it a moment to think. So it says unable to locate credentials. You can configure credentials by running AWS configure. So we type in AWS configure. And by the way, if this font is too small, I believe I can bump it up like this. Not a great way to do it, but um, it works. And so it says AWS access key ID. So what we can do is go over to IAM. And what I'm looking for is my particular user over here. And if you remember, when we first created our account, it generated out access key. So I go to security credentials. And so we have a key here, but I need the secret. So this key is useless to me. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate it. Just because I don't even want this key. And I'm going to create myself a new key. So I'm going to have an access ID and secret. Whenever you generate these out, never, ever, 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 ever show anyone what these are. These are your, yours and yours alone, okay? So this is Cloud Shell. We're fine, we're just gonna close that for now. And I'm gonna go back over to get pods here and hit enter, so that's the ID. I'm gonna go grab the secret, hit enter, paste. And I want it to go to US East one to save myself some trouble. Uh, you can change the output from JSON to tables. I'm gonna leave it as the default here. And so now if I type AWS S3 LS, I get a list. And so if I want to grab that file there, I'm going to grab that S3 URI and we type in AWS S3 API, or sorry, it's just LS, sorry, or sorry, CP. And we're going to paste that link in and we're going to say hello.txt. And I must have done the command wrong. It's because we're missing S3 here. I just hit up on the keyboard to get that command back. And so I type in LS for list. And I mean, I have some other code here. So, you know, again, any repo you want on GitHub, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you'll see there is that file. Probably shouldn't use this one because it makes a bit of a mess. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Just to one thing to show you is where those credentials are stored. So by default, they're going to be stored in um, 
it's going to be in the a hidden directory in your root or your home directory called aws.credentials. So if I just do like ls here, you can see there's a config file and a credentials file. Cat lets me print out the contents of that file. So I go here and it's saying the default region is US East 1. This is a toml file, even though it doesn't have a dot toml on the end of it. I just know by looking at it, that's what it is. Config lets you set uh, defaults that are going to apply to all of your credentials. And then uh, within the credential file here is the actual credentials. So if you wanted to just set them, you could go in here and just set them in here. You can also set multiple credentials. So if I go here and I'm going to open it up and buy because I'm not sure how to open it up here in the main one. But if you wanted multiple accounts, you would do like exam pro and then you just repeat these with different keys, right? And then when you wanted to use an, uh, a CLI command, actually, I'm going to go back here for a second. Okay. And if you want to, um, and by the way, I'm using Vi. <laughs> if you never use Vim, it's, it's a bit tricky to use. Uh, you might want to use Nano instead if you're, if you're kind of new to this. Uh, because this will use like regular key key cuts and then down below it shows you what it is. So this is like control X or alt X, alt X. Nope. Control X. There we go. Um, but anyway, so if I go into this file and I delete the original one, right. And now I try to do, um, this command here, even though we already have that file, it should either hang or complain. I could just kill that by doing control C. If I do AWS S3 LS. Notice that it's hanging, so unable to locate credentials because there's no default one. But if I go and I put profile and I say exam pro, right, it, it'll now use that profile. So that's the way we do it. Um, but hopefully that gives you kind of a, a crash course into the CLI. Um, so yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and close these off. You can delete this bucket if you don't want it. It's probably a good idea to delete this here. And I'm just going to say permanently delete. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. Close that off. And yeah, that's the introduction to the CLI. So yeah, there you go.